Hey guys, thanks for watching the Slat Rock Wrestling Channel. Today we're presenting you with our predictions for WWE Fastlane 2017. First up, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson versus Enzo Amore and Big Cass for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championship. Guys, the tag team title scene on Raw isn't creating much interest ever since the New Day lost their tag team titles. Although it was good to see the belts on Sheamus and Cesaro, we all knew the duo wouldn't last for long. I'd rather see them succeed in singles action. Anyway, coming to the current Raw tag team title holders, Anderson and Gallows, unfortunately Vince McMahon never saw much money in them. It was Triple H who convinced Vince to get them to WWE. Rumors backstage also suggest that Triple H is in the process of rebuilding their persona, and as part of the rebuilding process, they're expected to win clean against Enzo and Cass this Sunday. Both of these tag teams are expected to clash until this summer. It will be interesting to see how long Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows hold on to their tag team titles. The reason I say this is because you will only progress in WWE if Vinny Mac likes you. I guess Vince would allow Gallows and Anderson to win at Fastlane, so they're featured strong going into WrestleMania 33, where Enzo and Cass are expected to win. It'll be interesting to see how the Tag Team Championship pans out, especially when the New Day comes into the picture. Next up, Roman Reigns vs Braun Strowman. Guys, the finish of this match is one of the most difficult predictions to make because on one side we have an undefeated monster in the form of Braun Strowman, who not only squashed some good wrestlers but also destroyed WWE's resident big men. WWE, for once, did a good job in building up his character. Coming to the other side, we have the golden boy of WWE, Roman Reigns, who's still not over with the fans despite Vinnie Mac's 3,000 attempts. And we all know he's not going to give up anytime soon. Guys, we've been hearing that Reigns would be Taker's opponent at WrestleMania. If this is indeed true, WWE has no option but to present Roman as a strong opponent, so he can't lose. But having said that, Strowman on the other hand can't lose as well this early into his push. He needs to keep his intimidation factor alive, so I think it's fair to say that both men will be protected and there will not be a definitive outcome. This match will either end in a draw, a double countout, or a disqualification. Will Undertaker make an appearance, resulting in Strowman winning? Next up, Bayley, the WWE Raw Women's Champion, defends against Charlotte Flair. Seriously guys, the booking of the Raw Women's Championship has become a joke as of late. It's become so predictable that Charlotte would lose the title on Raw to the flavor of the month, and then subsequently win it back in a dominant way at the following pay-per-view. The sooner Charlotte Flair's pay-per-view win streak gets broken, the sooner everything can get back to normal the Raw women can finally have the long title reigns that they deserve. My prediction is that Bayley is going to lose the title on Sunday. I'm also predicting that Sasha Banks will interfere in the match and either unintentionally or intentionally cost Bayley her title. Charlotte on the other hand will continue to enjoy her unbroken pay-per-view streak as Fastlane is not a big enough platform for the streak to end. If WWE is so interested in pushing Bayley, this is her right opportunity. She can cut promos about her desire to win the belt cleanly, this time without Sasha Banks cheating or interference. Although I'm not a big fan, but we can probably expect a triple threat match between Sasha, Charlotte, and Bayley at WrestleMania 33. Moving on! Neville defends the WWE Cruiserweight Championship against Jack Gallagher. Neville's transformation as a heel came at the right time thanks to the cruiserweight division, otherwise, this spectacular wrestler's career was going into the ground without a spot on Raw. He came back with a surly attitude, destroyed Rich Swan, and took his cruiserweight championship. Unquestionably, he is now the undisputed king of this division. Jack Gallagher, on the other hand, plays a comedy gimmick, but he is not championship material just quite yet. Realistically speaking, there's no way WWE is going to kill a good thing so quick when it's just begun. Jack will put up a good fight here, but Neville's the one who's going to walk away with the Cruiserweight Championship. And finally, Kevin Owens defends the WWE Universal Championship against Goldberg. This is for all Kevin Owens' fans, myself included. The only way he could possibly leave Fastlane with the title is if Brock Lesnar interferes in the match and costs Goldberg the title then the two can have their WrestleMania grudge match. Unfortunately, this is not going to happen. From a marketing perspective, a title match between Goldberg and Lesnar has a lot of weight to it, at least for the casual fans who will be motivated to buy the ticket for WrestleMania 33. 
So guys, I'm predicting that Goldberg will walk away with the title, and he will be facing Lesnar at WrestleMania for the Universal Championship. I'm predicting Lesnar will win the belt at Mania while Kevin Owens will fight Chris Jericho for the United States Championship. So guys, a quick recap. Number one, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson will retain the tag team titles. Number two, the match between Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman will end up in a draw, double countout, or disqualification. Three, Charlotte Flair will win the Raw Women's Championship. Four, Neville will retain the Cruiserweight Championship. And five, Goldberg is walking away with the WWE Universal Championship. Guys, do you agree with our predictions? Would you agree with the finishes? If not, how would you book them and why? Please share your comments below. Don't forget guys, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and get more videos just like this one and make sure you're getting our notifications. Hit that little bell icon right next to our subscribe button.